Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you all something I get asked about a lot. How I ink an episode of my daily comic strip, What We Mean by Yesterday. Benjamin Mara here, illustrator and cartoonist. Welcome to my channel where I record my process and give insights about art projects I'm working on with the hope you'll learn some new techniques and be inspired when making your own art. This is what the pencils look like on any Wimby comic strip. It's very loose. I just want to put down the shapes of where things are going to fall, just the most important elements. I don't want to pencil too much because I want to have my inks really look like they are very fresh and raw, and that I created them almost without planning them at all, like doodles in some sense. I just don't want them to look refined in any way. Pencils are very, very loose and it's really just the bare minimum. I don't want to pencil anything that I don't have to. The next thing I do is go in and write all the dialogue. It's at this point that I actually really figure out what the exact wording is going to be for each panel. I try to listen to what the characters are saying in my mind. It may sound kind of weird, but I just get a sense of what they're going to say, and then it comes out precisely when I hear them in my mind talking. The next thing I do is ink in all of the words and word balloons, also all of the sound effects. The pen that I like to use is a Pentel Energel pen. It's got a really good flow and I just like the way it feels in my hand. I don't like to measure anything out when I'm doing comics anymore. I used to think that I'd have to measure out all of the panel borders, I'd have to measure out all of the board balloons with ellipses, but I much prefer just freehanding everything. So this is the 506 and 507 strips of Wimby. Now I'm inking in Peter. I like to keep Peter really simple. I know that his hair is receding. He's got this insane widow's peak. It's a good identifier for him from the front and the back. This is how I draw Bruce, the main character of Wimby. I usually start with the top of his hair and work my way down. Usually I have a very specific expression I want him to have. I wanted to make sure I do that right after I identify where the top of his head is so I don't miss it or I don't run out of space for it. Bruce is clutching his hand because he's trying not to reach for his gun in his pocket. This is how I draw Bruce from three quarter profile, or I'm not sure what quarter profile this is. Basically, we're looking over Bruce's shoulder at Peter. I like to keep Peter's design much simpler than the other characters' designs. I'm not sure why. It doesn't really have any story significance. I just wanted to keep him really basic and very, very simple to draw. Now I'm drawing Bruce punching Peter for the first time. I wanted this to be kind of a surprise panel. A lot of the panels in Wimby are over the shoulder shots, conversation pieces. I never really thought I'd be drawing a comic that had so little action, or that's not necessarily true. I always wanted to draw a comic that was basically people talking. That's maybe my, my favorite part about drawing comics is the simple parts where characters are not really doing too much. They're just talking in a room. I used some speed lines here to do this action for Bruce's punch on Peter's face. I wanted it to be just a quick jab. It sort of surprises Peter. So in the next panel for the next strip, I have him sort of clutching at his nose. His nose is sort of bleeding now. I like to put the foreground characters in a bit of shadow, just so the character that we're looking at as viewers has a little bit more prominence. One of my favorite parts about Wimby is getting to draw all of these crazy expressions on the characters' faces. I really like when the characters have to confront some sort of surprise that's happened to them in the story. This was a moment that I've been looking forward to for a long time as well. I'm drawing Bruce's fist sort of cocked and ready to go for the next panel. I like to do that kind of setup in comics. 
So even though Roos is giving this jab to Peter's face again, we're still setting up the action for the subsequent panel. I really love drawing this way, drawing really fast, not really worrying about anything being too perfect at all, or even looking right. But I wanted to make sure that this haymaker that Bruce delivers really works because it's such an important moment in these strips. I really wanted the reader to feel the power that Bruce put behind this punch. And he knocks Peter out of the panel completely. I use this technique that was employed in classic cartoons where you just see the feet of the person who's falling out of the panel. I'm just putting some finishing touches on here, and this is pretty much inked. This is how it looks when it's inked. Then I go through and erase all the pencil lines. There aren't many, but I don't want any of them to be picked up by the scanner when I do eventually scan it in. The blue lines of the paper get dropped out completely. When you convert line art to a bitmap tip, it drops out the blue line, but it won't drop out some of the heavier graphite. Even though I pencil very, very light, it still picks it up. I have to still go back and erase all the pencils. Next, I go in with a whiteout pen. I go back in and do some final touches with the ink just to make sure I'm hitting everything and nothing's missing. Once I get rid of the pencils, it's a little bit easier to see the final strip. I do a few more finishing touches with the whiteout pen, a few more touches with the ink, and then it's done. This is what it looks like when I've applied the bitmap TIFF function, and it's ready to be cut up and posted to Instagram and Patreon. Thanks for watching everyone. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions about what I've been working on or anything I mentioned in the video, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. See you in the next video.